Welcome to Mainly Outdoors. My name's Jesse, and today we are out in beautiful Grand Lake Stream. Came out here with Jeremy. He's brand new to fly fishing, and today is gonna be all about getting him on his very first fish on the fly rod. I'm here to take out my fly fishing rod for the very first time, and this is something that I've been looking forward to for over 15 years. So hopefully, I can land my first fish on a fly rod right here today. I'm excited, let's get to it. Let's go, dude. We're getting a late start, so we're just gonna go hole to hole. It's pretty easy access to all of these and see where people are, see if we can't carve out a little spot to ourselves. To the right, that's my favorite stretch. Oh wow, there's no one here. We're here. We're here. This is it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I hope there's a lot of fish in this run. I'm a little worried because no one's here. Well, it's also the time of day, but if we we're here... Yeah, it is midday, but that doesn't matter. We can still catch fish. So this is one of my favorite runs. I come here just because I think it's a really beautiful area. And the trout tend to hold up really shallow. They like to hang out right in this feeding lane. And there's really not many features. So we'll kind of walk through, see if we can visually pick out one, and we'll cast for that fish and see if we can capture its attention or maybe even get a bite. Cool. Watch the footing. The uh, outside of this bubble scene. Yes. That's where we'll try to start. So the idea is traditional, conventional fishing. You have a weight that's going to okay. propel whatever you're using forward. In this case, we need to get this thick line out there in order to do that. Okay. Now, that was. See, that'll work. But we're going to try to smooth it out. You don't need to go fast. Okay. Just nice and slow. It doesn't have to be perfect to get a rise. So I, I'm taking tricky. myself. Oh, set, set. Oh, did you see it? I did. That's okay. You just weren't ready to actually catch something. I reeled the wrong way. Don't reel. No, You're I not didn't. Catch I, him on the reel. Okay, that's good to know. Just pinch that line. Pinch, set that pinch, hook. And, pinch and set. So there's a fish in between that rock and us, kind of right in front of us. You can drift it down to him. Like how oh, much? Set, 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 set. Did you see it? I did. I did. That's all right. Plenty of opportunities. Oh, fish, fish on, fish <laughs> on. Keep tension, keep tension. Uh-oh. No, no, wrong way, just pull in line. Yep, just like that, pull, pull, pull quickly. That's your fish. <laughs> keep pulling in, rod tip up. Keep that rod bent. Okay. Woo. Oh, I lost it. I was really in the wrong way. Okay, but basically for, me, for trout and salmon, Okay. The idea with the reel is it's a line holder. The only reason you'd need this, if that fish is going downstream, this is gonna help tire it out with drag. So our most important thing oh. right now so literally the is you keep this bend. That is the only thing that's gonna pin that fish. Gotcha. So that, that was your biggest mistake. So if I set on a fish, I'm gonna get that initial hook set and then I'm going to bring Change in it. line. Finger See, here, peeling sense. back, okay. and you're gonna have your rod tip high and just maintain that nice bend. So you lost that fish when it jumped, right? Yeah. So when they go up in the air, they're straight up. If your line is straight up, it's a perfect angle for it just to pop right out. That's exactly so what happened. That's okay. That's yep. super hard to get used to, and they call it bowing to the, the king. Basically, when that fish goes up, your rod tip goes down. That's something that I don't expect you to remember when you <laughs> have the adrenaline of catching a fish. Well, just knowing to pull the line. Man, I've never had a fish jump out of the water on a line like that before. That was exciting. It's a hit. So let's take another two feet of line out and try to get just past that rock. There's been one rising there that we haven't been able to reach yet. All right. We got this. Ooh, there's a nice rise. Oh, get set, 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 set. Yeah, so you'll see the mouth come up, grab, pause just for a split second. They're gonna rotate down, then you set. 
So Jeremy's doing great, but I don't want to overwhelm him with information. And as the day goes on, I'm starting to get a little worried that we're going to see those hatches shut off on us. So what I'm going to do right now, while Jeremy's out fishing, I am going to start to throw some nymphs and see if I can dial that down. So if that dry fly bite does shut off, I can just switch him over to some nymphs that I know are already working. For starters, I am going to use a stone fly. I always use this pattern just to help get everything down. And then right below that, I'm using a small hare's ear in a lime green. And I've had a lot of luck with it in the past few days. So I imagine it's gonna be working today too. So we'll start off with that, see how it goes. And then I'll start to make changes if need be. Oh, brook trout. Wow. I think it is a native. One more fish and I'm putting this rig on yours. Uh, and that'll be a whole different skill to learn. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think we need to get you on this. Yeah, so midday like this, I mean, you can catch them on dries and it was encouraging to see a lot of that. But usually when the sun's out like that, you don't get as many. Whoa. Okay, just keep nice salmon. <laughs> Not so nice relief. That was on that hare's ear that was working last week. Midday, you know, sun's totally out. Fish tend to feed under the water, so we're just gonna go with a simple indicator rig. And this time we're not casting, so I'm just gonna have about that much out, and you're gonna flop it right in front of you, hold that, and high stick it. So if it goes down, what you're gonna see is it's gonna dunk or it's gonna jitter when it shouldn't be. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna set that way. Set downstream, so just set away from the direction they're taking. Maybe. Let's put you, give yourself a little more line. That's fine, yeah, that was perfect. Set. Ooh, that was good though. Good timing and everything. He might have spit it, it might have been bottom. Hard to say. And I went the wrong way, didn't I? Could have been it, but. Oh, pit set, nice, nice, nice. All right. Okay, tension, right? Yep, keep tension, that's perfect. Okay. Don't, don't bring in too much. Give him a little slack. Now bring tip up, tip up, 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 up. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Look at that. All right. Perfect, I saw that fish going for it and everything. There you go, nice little native for you. Just keep him in the water. Look at that. Dude, we got it. Yes! <laughs> oh, how exciting. That is so exciting. Jesse, I can't thank you enough, man. Now I'm hooked. It's memorable. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't big, but it was beautiful. I gotta say though, dude, today was just fun. I mean, I only caught one fish, but I get it. It's not as much about pulling the fish out of the water, but it's more of the, how do you solve this riddle to be able to catch the fish? For me, it's all part of that journey. It's about keeping this heritage and tradition alive and getting to learn these things so I can pass it on to my kids and teach all of that. But it, it was a blast, man. That was so much fun. Oh, my God.